I choose to support the work of World Cancer Research Fund because I believe their message is so important. I had a cancer diagnosis and I know how devastating that can be. World Cancer Research Fund provided the, the tips, the pointers, the information I needed to lead a healthier lifestyle. And I found that very, very useful. Um, I think their message is so important. I have a family myself, uh, I've got children and grandchildren, and I want them to live a, a healthy life. And so I believe that it's important to help their funding so that they can get the message of, of healthy eating, healthy living out to the public. World Cancer Research Fund's advice has prompted me to make several changes in, in my life. Um, firstly with diet, I eat plenty of fruit and vegetables, more than the recommended five usually, and enjoy them. I've made changes to my lifestyle in that I joined a gym. It had a lot of beneficial effects on my life. It keeps my weight constant, the, the, the diet that I eat keeps my weight constant, I don't have to worry about putting on weight. And I feel a lot more energetic. I know it makes a difference. I think all of us would like to know how to prevent cancer. There can be very few of us who have not had a friend or family member touched by cancer. We know that cancer is a preventable condition. We know this from the huge variation in rates of cancer in different parts of the world and the changing, rapidly changing rates of cancer that happen over time and in different countries. The World Cancer Research Fund is supporting a project based in the University of Cambridge and led by Professor Sheila Rodwell and her colleague Gunther Kunle to assess sugar intake and whether it is related to risk of cancer. Now with new technology, the ability to measure things much better in blood and urine samples as well as in our dietary instruments, I think we are really at a point where we can really definitively nail the relationship between diet and cancer and give much better informed and solid advice to the community in terms of what we can do to prevent cancer. This research is vital and needs support. From my point of view, the signal contribution of the World Cancer Research Fund has been in the production of these reports on diet, nutrition, physical activity and cancer. WCRF UK Guidelines for Cancer Prevention The choices you make about food, physical activity and weight management can reduce your chances of developing cancer. Choose mostly plant foods, limit red meat and avoid processed meat. Be physically active every day in any way for 30 minutes or more. Aim to be a healthy weight throughout life. And always remember, do not smoke or chew tobacco. World Cancer Research Fund is dedicated to preventing cancer. We invest over £2 million every year on scientific cancer research into how people can reduce their risk of cancer. We work hard to interpret all the available cancer prevention research to provide clear and concise advice on how people can reduce their cancer risk. Through our research and extensive education programmes, we are proud to be able to spread the life-saving message that cancer is a largely preventable disease. I've always wanted to run the London Marathon since I was young. Uh, this year especially, I've been, I've been more determined. Uh, sadly, one of my best friends passed away from bowel cancer last year. So I've really wanted to be more determined to run and raise as much money as I can for, for a cancer-related charity. Uh, when I looked into the, all the work and the, and the positive message that World Cancer Research send out, then I thought that was an excellent charity for me to run and help raise funds. Well, I've always done a lot of physical activity and I've been involved in a lot of sports such as football um, but certainly since starting the training I've been doing a lot more running. For diet wise I've, I've had to change a bit. I've certainly since reading about World Cancer Research Fund's uh, diet sort of uh, messages that I think that they've, I've been in a lot more fruit and veg and cut down any fatty foods. Um, I've limited my alcohol intake and it certainly made me feel a lot more a lot fitter and healthier and give me a lot more energy so yeah it certainly helped. 
Physical activity is really important for cancer prevention, but you don't need to run a marathon to gain the benefits. World Cancer Research Fund recommend we do at least half an hour moderate physical activity every day, like brisk walking. This doesn't have to be all in one go either, we can do 10 minutes here and there and build this into our day. Physical activity is one of the three key things we can do for cancer prevention, as you would have seen from the guidelines. The second key thing we can do is to have a healthy diet. A healthy diet is based around plant foods like whole grains, and to have at least five portions of fruits and vegetables every day. We also recommend you limit your consumption of red meat like pork, lamb and beef and avoid processed meat like ham and bacon, as well as limiting salt and alcohol. Scientists say that after not smoking, maintaining a healthy weight is the most important thing we can do to help prevent cancer. This is really important and positive information and with your support we can help spread this vital information to as many people as possible.